Previously on Next Level Chef. Today, you will be creating a next level fish dish. Let's go. All your pancetta's on the floor over here. What the? Ah! The most outstanding dish tonight was the halibut three ways. <laughs> go, Matt. The dish that I am eliminating tonight is Matt. I'm proud of Preston, man. You know, he's 19 years old. He's chasing a dream. Tonight, the game is about to change. You're now individuals fighting to become the next level chef. This is what I came for. Guys, time to push. Stock went down, he didn't turn that handle in. I'm screwed. This is to all the people that doubted me. Welcome back, guys. Line up. Are you all ready to level up? Yes. yes. Yeah. Because, as I told you, the game is about to change. The team competition is now over. Your individuals fighting to become the next level chef. Now only you can save yourself from elimination. Showtime, baby! This is what I came for. Cook as an individual. So from this point moving forward, watch out. If you cook a great dish, you'll earn your way up to the top. But screw things up, and you will tumble down to the basement. The team match is over. I'm actually sort of excited about that, because as an individual, I perform very well. Now that your safety net is gone, so too are the protection of those next level pins. So Tucker, Nuri, Step forward, hand me those pins back. I can't believe Chef Ramsey just took my pin. Thank you, Tucker. Thanks, Noe. I miss my pin. My apron is so naked now. It's like naked and afraid, like. The three of us still want someone from our team to win this competition. But in order to choose the right person to become our next level chef and win that coveted mentorship from all three of us, we need to get our eyes on everyone and really determine who is the best of the best. No one starts the climb from the top. So today, that top level kitchen is closed. That leaves only the middle kitchen and the basement. And in order to determine which kitchen each of you will be cooking in today, Naisha Gordon and I looked at every single one of your performances in this competition so far. I'm worried because I have missed the platform twice in a row. I'm thinking I'm going back to the basement. The following people have been the top performers so far and will be cooking on the middle level. Tini, Pilar, Nuri, Tucker, Maureen, and Omi. I'm at a loss for words. I'm like, ¿Qué? 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 What? ¿Qué? That means Vinny, Shay, Preston, Chris, and Michelle. You'll all be cooking in that basement today. I don't deserve to be in the basement. Although I've never had a top dish, I haven't had a bottom dish either. So I'm thinking, maybe I need to step it up and prove myself. To truly get to that next level, you need to expand your horizons even further. So today, we are going global. Each of you are going to create your take on a signature dish from a country around the world. I'm an Italian cook, so if I get that opportunity, I'm gonna nail it all day long. <laughs> One of the best ways to understand a country's culture is by sampling their most iconic signature dishes. Whether it's pho from Vietnam, feijoada from Brazil, a country's signature dish, it's like their culinary flag. Now, when that platform comes down, there'll be 11 boxes labeled with the name of the country. You've got to select the country you want, but here's the twist. You won't know which dish you're gonna be cooking until that challenge begins. So, with only two floors, 
and three of us. Now, Isha and I will both be on the middle floor today. Head to the elevators. You're going up to that industrial kitchen on the middle floor. And Naisha and I will meet you there. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. I'm happy that I'm in the middle. But I don't intend on staying there long. I intend on moving my way up. I go here. This is my station. I go here. There is a shift in the atmosphere. There are no longer teens, no more good vibes. They put me in the basement. I honestly don't give a Look, life gives you lemons, we gotta make lemonade. It's a survivalist mentality right now. My buddy, baby. Woo, woo, woo. Here it is, back in the game. I want that top dish so badly. I need the validation that like, you're a rock star, you belong here, you don't belong in the basement. Look what I got. <laughs> Good job, Vinny. Hi, basement, how you doing? Missed you. <laughs> All right, where the frick are the tongs that have more than one? All right, good. I have, I have been blessed. Look at these. This is tough for these chefs. Now it's important because you're gonna be judged on your individual merit. So your individual performance is gonna determine where you cook, and that is crucial. Make no mistake about it, the basement sucks. Good luck, guys. All right, let's go. Thank you, chefs. Go, everyone. Rally up, you wanna come over here, Shay? I want all of you to succeed, and you've all done things remarkable in this competition, all right? Thank you, Shay. Let's go. You good? Yeah, yeah. Excellent. You wanna earn that top level? It's up to you, you gotta go get it today. Yes, yes Chef. Yeah. Chef Stretch, which country are you hoping for? Where, where do you wanna go? Uh, Thailand. Thailand. Omi, where would you go? España. Ah. I really hope I see Spain. I would love to give my twist on a paella. Guys, the platform is starting to move. When that turns green, we're gonna go for it, okay? Go, guys, let's go! I run, and I see Spain, and somehow, teeny tiny mighty jumped over me and grabs the Spain box. Hurry up, get a box. Okay, then I'm like, muchacha. I am pretty sure I scraped my knee. I picked Spain. I grabbed it because I like to pick stuff I don't know how to cook for some reason. What have we got? Jamaica chef. Oh my God. What have we got? Italy chef. Italy, man. Spain, right? Yes, chef. What have we got? India. India. Big man, what'd you get? Thailand chef. Thailand. You asked for it. Yes, you got chef. It. Yes. Oh, I, I see it move a little. Here we go. Go! Feels like the Hunger Games. Everybody's running to the middle. I go around the platform and grab a box without even seeing what country it is. Have you tasted the food before? Have you been to that place? Just hoping to God that it's something that I can work with. All right, Michelle, what do we got? Canada, eh? Hey, okay, all right. Vinny, what country do you got? Sweden. Sweden. Shay, what do you got? Austria. I, I, and, I, and, what do you know about Austrian I cuisine? I wanna make a schnitzel. I'm hoping for a schnitzel. Okay, please. Chris. Greece! Wow. <laughs> Preston. I got Morocco. Don't have a lot of experience with Morocco, but okay. I'm gonna make a tasty dish. If you grab a box that you've never cooked with before, you're probably going to elimination. So there's a lot at stake for me right now. Okay, guys. Your 40 minutes starts now. Let's go, guys. <laughs> shark, 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 shark. Ooh, red snapper. Okay, okay, okay. Tika, tika. I have never made chicken. Tikka masala. <laughs> We're just gonna roll with it. What have we got? The old cutlet, pasta, we got some parm in here. Parmigiana. Woo! Pay time, baby. Right, what'd you get? Kebabs from Lebanon. Wow. I'm very I'm excited. Feeling. Good. So that kebab needs that flavor, that profile, that seasoning. Yes. Uh, how do you say it? Pale paleia. Teeny, tiny. Are you kidding me? I don't know what paella is. I don't know Get what that is. Get yourself organized. What is paella? I've never been to Spain. I don't know how to cook Spain, sp Spanish food. I've never cooked paella. And I'm just like, I don't know what the I'm doing at this point. What'd you get? I got paella and I don't know what paella is. Think about it as a sort of almost like a, a risotto with shellfish. 
I'm just like, oh, I probably look so stupid right now compared to everyone else. You've surprised many in this competition. There's a lot of chefs in your situation with that problem. I was never a good student. I was always getting bad grades, and then I found cooking, and it changed everything. Then I got on TikTok. And it's just straight hate. Everyone's like, you can't cook, but I just cook with my heart. Listen, those comments, never, ever, ever give them a second of your valuable time like that. Yes. Yeah, sure. OK? That little pep talk, it just means a lot, especially coming from Gordon Ramsay. OK, good luck. Come on, you got this, yeah? So this is to all the people that doubted me. Yes. Triple yes, quadruple yes, defo yes. Welcome to the Blazeman, everyone. You wanted Italy, didn't you? I did, but I know how to make a meatball. I'm Italian, so yes, we're going to nail this today. Yes. We're going to nail this today. I know nothing about Swedish food, but I make the best meatballs ever next to my daughter, Madison. She makes better meatballs than me, but I'm a close second. Well, let's go. Lingonberries. Lingonberries. Oh, I never heard of those. Right. What the hell is a Lindenberry? I have no idea about lindenberries. Uh, figure it out later. Thinking of them like pomegranates or cranberries is smart. OK, get going, get going. Get really thin, baby. All right, what do we got, Shay? What do you schnitzel. got? Schnitzel. I've made schnitzel okay. in a long time. I've eaten a lot of schnitzel. I'm ready. All right, Chris, what do you got? I got grease you and got grease. Yes. Hey, listen, I feel like these flavors are in your wheelhouse. This is absolutely in my All wheelhouse. All right, keep going. That's you got this, right? <laughs> All right, Preston, or should I say Impreston, uh, what do you got going on? Uh, I'm not really sure what to do with these. I don't have a lot of experience with uh, this cuisine, but I have Morocco, and the signature dish is tagine. I've never cooked or eaten tagine before, so I am a little bit worried with that factor. This is a tagine, OK? Yes, chef. So this is, how, this is how it's cooked. It's cooked in this container, OK? Rustic. It's all about keeping rustic. all of those flavors in here. You got it? Yes, chef. OK, boom. Chef, I got a beautiful ribeye. OK, and? I got flour to make the gravy for the poutine. How are you going to treat that steak? I want it to be elevated, so I'm trying to imagine the plate, because poutine's not something okay. that I typically think of when I think elevated food. I love poutine, especially at 3 AM after a lot of tequila. But how the hell am I going to make this a next level dish? Think about what has to done, be done first. The think gravy. about what has to be done first. The gravy and the potatoes, yes. right? Poutine? God, just kill me. Michelle, big jeopardy here. She's got poutine, which is like a pubby, very rustic sort of dish. And she's going to do french fry. French fries are so hard to make. Very impressive if she pulls it off. But that dish sometimes is too rustic. Can she elevate poutine? 25 minutes left, team, OK? Hurt, sir. What are we doing with this chicken skin, Omi? It's going to be a little bit of baking soda to crisp it up really nice. Be careful. Tastes pretty horrible, okay? So, yeah. I have never cooked Indian food before. I don't even have any Indian spices at home. <laughs> Is this a dish that you've made before? Yeah, chef. My nonna used to make it uh, for me in the kitchen. Oh, are you time. Italian? I am chef. Wow. My family's from the southernmost part of Italy. Yes. Kind of by the boot. <laughs> Favorite chili. I can't we. I grew up in Nona's kitchen. Um, you know, my grandfather would be out in the garden, you know, harvesting vegetables, and she would cook them, and, and I would get to stir things or help on noodle day or on sauce day. She was such an inspiration, and I just really wanted to be just like her. That's where my love of cooking came from. She was always cooking for me in the kitchen, and uh, I never knew that being a professional chef was kind of a thing I could do yes. until I saw women like you doing it and crushing it and kicking those boys' asses, and so I was like, all day, baby. You know I want to do that, so that's you're what doing, I'm doing it, chef. You know you're doing it. Let's go, let's go, team. I thought that was a hole. I'm stupid. I thought that hole in the top of the tagine was a vent for things to go into the pot. I realized there's no hole there. That's just the roof of the pot. So I'm a little bit embarrassed. All right, looks like you're developing big flavor over there. Any concerns? Tastes good. It's good. I love it. You're a wizard, Harry. Let's go. All right, listen, we're looking for the next level chef down here. OK, I want success from all of you. Michelle, have you cooked the potatoes yet? Oh, they're done. Yeah, they're done. You got to get them out of there, OK? Whoa. Andale, mami. Relax. 15 minutes left, guys. Per chef. 15 minutes. Per chef. What protein you got? You got shrimp? I got shrimp, chef. Good. So I'm going to use the head uh, to start building the flavor in the sauce. The shrimp shells, garlic, uh, seafood stock, salt. OK, good luck, young man. Thank you, chef. Careful with the sweetness. You need to balance that out, OK? OK, yeah, chef. There's levels to this competition. Yes, yeah, chef. I've never made a jerk marinade for fish, so this is definitely new. I said I wanted to push myself. 
You know I'm counting on you, right? Yes, Chef, but I'm stressed out. What do you think? You can see who's the professional chef and who's the home cook, because it's all about how you organize yeah. your mind. Gosh, damn, what happened there? Stock went down. He didn't turn that handle in. Dang, what did I just do, man? I'm screwed. I'm absolutely screwed. Let's go, let's go, let's go, sorry, let's go. Chef Stretch, what's going on, bud? I just knocked it by walking past Chef. It wasn't stable on there. Yeah, but that doesn't matter. That is an excuse. You yeah, have I'm to get it back, set chef. yourself up for success. Yeah, chef. You know that's, what I mean? Yeah. Let's go, let's go. So Nori's stock just fell on the floor. And that's the thing, Nori doesn't stop down and take a breath and focus on his plan ahead. I need you to stretch that talent. I need you, Chef Stretch, you got this. This is a little bit too easy, so let's start with our mid-round mayhem. That platform's descending with 11 international ingredients. Try to select the ingredient that's going to enhance your box. One ingredient only. Understood? Let's go. I look over, and the first thing I see is a black truffle. I'm all yoink. It's not stopping for long. I see bird's eye chili. I needed that extra level of heat. I need more heat. I'm looking around, but I didn't see anything that I need. One only. Not just grab honey. Damn, I should have got the cabbage. How am I going to use honey? Cabbage, that would have been perfect. One ingredient that's going to enhance your dish. I see soprasata, and I grab that soprasata so fast, it's not even funny. One amazing ingredient. I grab red cabbage. But I don't want a mid-round drop. Unless it's like straight booze, I can have a drink. <laughs> So Preston, what did you grab in the mid-round? Uh, I grabbed tahini. That, that should work in there even if it's like, as a little drizzle or something on top, right? Okay, I love it. Chef, don't have a lot of uh, experience with couscous, so I, I soak it first or do I just throw it straight in? Steam it up. Okay, you do want it to be fluffy. This is a crucial learning moment for Preston because it's not a fancy dish with little leaves and dots. It's not Preston's strength. Big challenge for him. 10 minutes to go, yes? Now you start getting that base in there, okay? You good? Yes. Yeah, feeling better now? Yes. Good care. What do we have here, Nori? How are we cooking the shrimp? Um, I'm just going to lightly pan sear them. And be careful with these chilies. They're very spicy okay, hurt when you. you start using those seeds, OK? okay so make sure you, you taste it. I tried to remove it. some of them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right, how are you feeling? Feeling good, Chef. We good? Just wait until the last yeah. minute to put that rest snapper on, Chef. Smart. I love that confidence, OK? Thank you, Chef. Good. Guys, time to push. Seven minutes to go. OK, it's still rare. Touch it. Touch it. I can do yeah. medium rare, right? But, you know, I put it back in the oven for two more minutes. Do you know what I mean? I wouldn't put it back in the pan. You've got the heat in the trainer, haven't you? Sure. Yeah? Behind, coming down, coming down. My veal comes out of the pan fry. I'm like, hmm, super rare. Perhaps raw. I think all of us are feeling the time crunch. It's stressful. Tucker's just pulled out her uh, veal, and it's raw in the middle. She is up against it. Yep. Three minutes left. All right, three minutes. Means we're plating very, very soon. All right, how are we doing on our gravy? It's salty, but... Okay, listen. I don't think it's salty, because you're going to have these sweet lingonberries. Yes, have sir. Have you eaten one yet? Have you tasted it? I have not. I will. Please. I was going to sugar them. It's, it's, your, it's your whole thing on the line here. You're going to taste it, and you're going to be like, oh, it's too tart, right? Yep. I'm an idiot. Uh, taste the lingonberry towards the very end. If I'd known that 10 minutes... I would have made a nice little jam out of it. My thoughts are I'm in deep trouble. We are down to two minutes to go. This fish is taking forever. Oh, my god. Next time, just leave it on the skin side, Chef. Yes, Chef. For the first time in the competition, I feel like I'm really struggling. What's the plan, Tucker? It's raw. So what's the plan? We're going to slice, and we're just going to use the outside slice, of Chef, not get that inside slice. Keep it going, guys, yes? Keep it going. You're, you're letting it rest right now, yes. Yeah, turn that off, turn that off, turn that on. The chefs are both coming to me being like, Chef, I'm worried about your veal. And so now I'm worried about my veal because they're worried about my veal. Turn it on. Now we're all worried. Let's go, it's time to play. Behind, right behind you, guys. Time to play it now? Yes, time to play now. I'm starting to envision how I want to present the dish, which is the part that I'm most concerned about. How do I make it look pretty? 90 seconds left. Yes, chef. Yeah. Platform's on the move. Gotta go, girl. Gotta go. It's undercooked. Damn. 
I try to flip it over, the flesh is just like tore up. It just looks horrible. This is the worst day to have Chef Ramsay there in the kitchen with me. 45 seconds to go. Platform's here. Platform is here. No one can miss the platform. Three seconds. Michelle, do you have enough sauce? Is there enough gravy? My plate was not clean, but I got it on there. Platform's here, guys. Come on, let's go. Gotta go, Maureen, gotta go, girl. 10 seconds, let's go. You still got 10 seconds of cooking. Let's Come go. Come on, Pilar, you got this. We're like looking at the fish with 10 seconds to go. And I have like the smallest piece of little fish. My plate looks horrible. Five. There's five seconds left and Pilar is still cooking. Pilar, like, get your dish on that platform. Come on, Pilar, come on, come on, right here, right here. One, you gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go. The plate barely gets on the platform and thanks to Chef Stretch, he tipped it up there. Ah. It just wasn't my day. I'm so frustrated with myself. I'm just, I want to cry. Well done. Your first individual challenge. The heat is on, but looking at these dishes in front of us, you did very well. Uh, Richard, nicer, shall we? Please. Let's start on the middle floor. So first up, we have a trip to Italy with the veal parmesan. Flavor-wise, beautiful, delicious. Pasta slightly too thin. Great use of truffle, which is unexpected. Bold execution here with cooking the veal chop whole, but an amazing take on a veal parmesan. No one would be so proud of me right now. I did her justice today. Okay, next up. The Lebanon box uh, with lamb kebab. I don't see a kebab here. Yes, yeah, so the chef made a play on a pot pie with a short dough. Smart move, not going down the kebab route. The flavors are there. Okay, next up, we have a paella trip to Spain. Seasoning spot on. All of the seafood's cooked beautifully. Paella, never cooked it before, I've never even seen it before. Then they loved it. Whew, I'm just so relieved. We have a trip to Jamaica with a jerk red snapper. Sadly, the dish looks unfinished, like it's missing two thirds of that fish. Rice needs more seasoning. I'm not getting any of those jerk spices that kind of almost make your nose run a little bit. I just expected more. I'm normally very proud of my plate, and that was not a professional chef's plate. Next, we have Thailand with a pad thai. It's bloody hot. Second, third, fourth mouthful. I'm not too sure if that's going to be overkill. Yeah, it's that bird's eye chili. Freaking bird's eye chilies. What the hell, man? Why did I put another chili in there? Oh, dude, what are you doing? This is a chicken tikka with a fresh cucumber condiment on the side. The tikka is delicious. It's fragrant, it's floral. It's got the right amount of heat. Yeah, the cilantro is a little too much for what the dish is, I think, but the rice and the sauce, delicious. The fact that I am getting this type of feedback on this dish that I'm cooking for the first time, I am feeling amazing. <laughs> Shall we uh, head down to the basement? Please. Let's, near and dear to my heart, the Swedish meatball with uh, gravy and mash. And the cabbage is from the mid-round drop. Lingonberries are so, so tart. Sort of sucking some of the other flavors away. Uh, meatballs, just a touch too tiny. The smaller you make them, the quicker they dry out. OK, next up, we head to Canada with a poutine. This is elevated. Ribeye's cooked beautifully. There's no two ways about that. My favorite part is actually the fries, right? They're a little bit crispy. You get these, it's kind of nice to create your perfect bite. Honestly, I feel like someone's pranking me. <laughs> to hear such positive things about this poutine that I made, I'm just 
on literally cloud nine. Canada, eh? <laughs> okay, and here we have a lamb souvlaki. A yogurt sauce, dill, lamb shoulder. Really nice seasoning on this. Lamb's a little bit too tough. I would love to see a little bit more tenderness uh, in this protein. All right, and over here we are off to Austria with a pork schnitzel. Protein seasoned beefly. I love the potatoes here. Four crust, simple potatoes, tasty. Okay, oh. over here we head to Morocco with a classic tagine. Mid-round drop here was tahini, which doesn't look like it made the plate. Not getting all of the flavors, the almonds, the olives, and the raisins, uh, but the chicken is cooked well. The flavors are strange with this dish. It doesn't feel Moroccan. Couscous for me is all bitty and very tight, but the dish is quite dry. I definitely was not expecting that. I thought the couscous was nice and fluffy, but like, I really want to stay in this competition. Okay, well done. We've got to decide who's going up and who's going down. Richard, nice. Uh, right, top dishes today. Yes. Um, the tikka. Tikka was so delicious. Oh my gosh, if I ordered that for takeout, yeah. I'd be so impressed. I thought the uh, veal parmesan was good. It was a fresh take. How many veal parmesan dishes are you having with black truffle? The dish was splendid. I'd say the dish that surprised me the most was that poutine, even without even tasting the meat, the potato alone. But making french fries in 40 minutes is really, really tough, so there's a lot of technique involved in it. Mm. I mean, Let's talk about the, uh, the, the snapper, the Jamaican-inspired yeah. snapper. Yeah. I mean, that broke my what heart. happened there, by it the broke way? My heart. She cooked on a plancha grill. I think she just didn't well. leave herself enough time on the back end, you yeah. know? They've got to understand, to get into that top flight kitchen, they've got to produce a top flight dish. Absolutely. For me, the pad thai had a nice uh, level of depth of flavor, but then this chili is too much. They had to grab water. I'm like, The one I was excited to taste, but didn't deliver. Uh, the meatballs were so tiny. Yeah, listen, I mean, that wasn't my favor. That cabbage was raw. I'm going to miss you guys. What do you mean? Oh, and the other one that's borderline for me personally was that tagine. It was just dry. That really was not color. a tagine. I'm not refined yet, so they have a much better palate of the little things that I missed. It's a shame. Well, it's going to be tight to get to the top, but I think it's obvious who's going in. Naisha, Rich, and I felt there were three outstanding dishes today that have earned their right to cook in that top-level kitchen. Those three dishes were... The Tikka from India. Omi, congratulations. Real authenticity. Thank you, Chef. I'm about to go up to the third floor. I'm beside myself right now. The next person moving to the top, the Canadian poutine. What? No, Chef. <laughs> Gravy to die for. Thank you, Chef. Congrats. Thank you. Finally, I got the validation that I needed. Poutine? I didn't think that that was going to happen at all. The final person moving to the top level is the one who cooked the Italian Ville Parmesan. Congratulations. <laughs> Truffle in a Ville Parmesan. Girl, you got balls. I'm really proud of myself, Chef. My daughter would be proud, too. Very. I did my heritage proud. Nona is smiling down on me right now, for sure. Now, the three bottom dishes. These chefs will be moving to the basement for the next challenge, but not before they cook in that elimination cook-off. The first dish heading into the elimination is... Okay, the first dish heading into the elimination is the Jamaican red snapper. Pilar, the timing got to the better view this night. And we know you can cook better than that. I agree. The thought of someone being eliminated and that possibly being me, I'm not ready to go home. I have so much more to prove. The second dish into the elimination 
is... It's the Swedish meatballs. Vinny, your passion is evident. What we need now is the finesse. Yeah, chef, I knew it. I knew I was going to be here. I knew it. I'm just mm, disappointed. This third dish didn't hit the mark. The final dish in the elimination is... the Moroccan chicken tagine. Preston, it missed the mark completely. Yes, sir. You've been in that elimination before. You've cooked your way out brilliantly. You need to replicate that. Yes, chef, I will. Obviously, that means that Shay, Nuri, Tini, Chris, and Maureen, you'll be starting off in that middle level kitchen. Understood? Yes, yes chef. chef. OK, Omi, Michelle, and Tucker, head back to the lounge. Put your feet up. Well done. Good job, guys. Really good job. I am feeling literally on top of the world. Michelle, well done, girl. Thank you. <laughs> OK, Pilar, Vinny, and Preston, stay here. The rest of you head into the elevator, please. Only the strong survive, baby. It feels really good to be safe, but now I'm telling myself, all right, man, you got to get to that top level now. Now, for tonight's elimination, you're cooking a classic French dish, duck à l'orange. Huh? <laughs> you don't serve that in the firehouse often. That we want you three to modernize. Understood? Yes, yes chef. chef. Right, from now on, until we reach the finale, each of us will take a turn overseeing the elimination cook-off, while the other two will blindly taste the dishes. The very best of luck, all of you. Off you go. Good luck, chefs. This is like my ride-or-die moment right now. If I don't cook something to perfection, I'm definitely going home. I know we're not a team, but like half my team's in the elimination right now. <laughs> it's not amazing. It's $250,000 on the line. I ain't just doing this for me. I'm a single mother, it's just me and my baby. She just has me to depend on. Today is not the day for me to go home. Right, you guys feeling good? Yes? Yes, Chef. OK, listen and focus. I am going as two pros that probably make duck l'orange in their sleep, but I'm not intimidated. You know, I'm the firefighter that won't give up. I'm gonna cook my heart out today, for sure. Very best of luck to all three of you, yeah? Line Thanks, up, chef. please. Let's go. 30 minutes to create a next-level duck dish to keep you in the competition. Here it comes. Your 30 minutes starts now. Off we go, guys. I work good under pressure, so maybe this is what I need to just put the fire in my gut and focus. One minute gone, 29 minutes remaining. Let's go. Right, young man, give me an insight of this. Where are we going? Uh, so I'm going to score it, sear the duck fat. Um, I'm going to make that into my sauce as well. Good. I'm going to just keep it simple, don't overcomplicate things, and really just make a tasty dish. Right, how are you feeling? Feeling good, chef. Good, what you got? Uh, try to do it more than one way. I want to do a candy orange skin, good. orange reduction sauce, and an orange herb salad on top. Nice. OK, make sure you elevate this dish, yes? Yes, chef. Right, young man, come on. I've seen some of your best things in these cook-offs, yeah? What are you doing? I'm going to pan fry my duck breast. Good. And then I'm going to make a nice glaze, a hot glaze with it. Smart. Uh, mashed potatoes. I've been killing the mashed Good. potatoes. Hey, the best mash. Get those potatoes on, please. Let's yeah, go. Chef. So I saw you put oil in there, and then I saw you put butter in there. Why? Just, just to help it out, start it off a little bit, but... He added oil to his pan. And butter. Uh, remember, butter burns. Yes, chef. Don't base something with burnt butter, OK? So be yes, smart. Chef. So if it is burning, you start again, OK? Yes, chef. I don't want you giving that duck that burnt flavor, OK? Watch out. Come into the sink. Watch out. Watch out. I'm a little bit concerned with having to reset my pan. I feel like I lost a lot of those good flavors that I was getting in that duck, but I would rather that than have a burned taste in my duck. Who's looking so? Well, Why? Seems like she's gonna element it, use it in different, a lot of different forms mm -hmm. to really, you know, yeah. show the star of the orange in the duck. Marie, who's got this? Even though Preston's never cooked it before, he looks, he looks like he's gonna win. Interesting. Chef Ramsay smells so good. I have forgotten about the duck chlorage. <laughs> it just smells like an elegant, smart, scary person. 
It smells really good. I don't know how else to describe it. Right, seven minutes gone. 23 minutes to go. So when's that duck going on? It's going right a now, secret. Chef. Let's get it on early. Uh, Pilar. Yes, yeah, Chef. Fast track that duck now. 11 minutes gone. 19 minutes to go. Pilar, get that duck going, girl, please. Yeah, chef, we got to go. Chef. Oh, girl, you got to turn that heat up. That is too low. Yeah, that's still white. Tell me how you're going to plate this. Where are we going? I'm going to do a uh, whipped cream orange sauce on top. That whipped cream, I think it's going to be a great addition and add beauty to my plate. So, Vinny's whipping cream. You don't really add that into a fatty duck breast. No. Pilar. Yes, chef. This duck is just not moving. Did you get the panel straight away? Yes, chef. Not cooking it fast enough. And I'm just like screaming in the inside. Crank up the oven and get it in the oven, please. Yeah? Yes, chef. No, that is that mean that is completely raw. Is Pilar doing that duck? Chef Pilar, if you do not perform, your butt is going home. Five minutes to go. This is the dish that will save your position in the kitchen. Preston, duck is resting nicely. Yes, chef. That's a big weight off his shoulders, OK? Yes, chef. He's 19. So 19. 19. Like, what was I doing at 19? At 19, I was busy trying to get my groove on. I cannot tell you how important it is slicing that duck at the very last minute. Yes, Chef. Too early, you're going to turn it dry. Come on, Vinny, finish strong, baby. Vinny's slicing the duck now. Why now? It's always the last thing you do before going on the plate. Two and a half minutes left. Come on, Pete, let's go, baby. Let's go, let's go. go as I'm slicing my duck, I see that nice pink color. I'm like, thank you. The duck is cooked perfectly. Come on, guys, let's go! On to the races. 90 seconds to go. Let's go. Well done. The goodness is on the board. I want the goodness in the duck. It's got to stay in the duck. Make these plates beautiful. Let's go. Oh my god, it looks so you good! It. You got this, Vinny. Let's go, Vinny. I've nailed the duck. Perfect. I think I got this today. 30 seconds to go. Let's go. Come on, guys. Go, guys. 30 seconds. Sauce, guys. Sauce. Sauce, sauce, sauce. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, what? Well done, well done. Way to leave it on the plate, guys. Well done. Good job, baby. Good job. Richard Naisha, welcome back. Thank you. That was an extraordinary, impressive 30-minute cook. Wow. Three stunning dishes. Let's start with this one here first. This is a duck that is roasted skin side down, done with roasted vegetables in duck fat. This looks like the cover of a magazine. It's vibrant, beautiful, and the gumption and tenacity to not even slice the duck shows pure confidence. The duck is cooked beautifully. Beautiful medium. Medium means perfect. What a modern dish. I love the control on the sauce. She crushed that. That was executed beautifully. This dish, duck topped with some light pickles and fried potatoes around the outside. When you slice a duck, you don't want to really sort of drown it in the sauce. You should showcase that beautiful cook on the duck. Oh, boy. Oh. They all had that face where it was not, something's wrong with the sauce. I love the jus. However, for me, it's a little bit sweet. When you have a rich, fatty duck, you want something that sort of cuts that fattiness. Duck is cooked really, really well. I like it. Our third and final dish. This is a duck that sits over a bed of uh, creamy mashed potatoes. Um, what is this? This cream over here? Uh, the meringue or? scented uh, whipped cream. Come on, Ben. I hope they love it. Me too. The cream's a little weird, but that's where a lot of the orange flavor comes through. Flavor-wise, for me, it's straightforward, honest, really beautiful. Naisha, I'm going to come to you first. I need to know, 
Which duck dish are you going to be sending home? The dish that I'm sending home tonight is... Oh, God. For me, it's going to be the duck with the fried potato. Preston, one vote on Preston. Richard, for me, the duck that I'm sending home tonight is the duck with the fried potatoes. That dish was cooked by Preston. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. Wow. Oh, Lord. Mm. Oh. Oh. Young man, um, I am devastated. You absolutely nailed the cook on that duck. Sadly, the dish is somewhat lacking as a completed dish. I wanted to be the next level chef. Obviously, it wasn't me, but taking a step back and reflecting, like I did my first flambe with Gordon freaking Ramsay. Your culinary journey is just starting. Like, this journey has been so amazing. I got to experience it with three of the biggest culinary giants in the world. Thank you for having me. Another one bites the dust. Wow. Yeah. I, well done. Okay. Well done. At 19 years of age, I, Gordon Ramsay, was not cooking at that level. Take this moment and continue the climb. Good luck, young man. Take care. Hey, I can't wait to see you at your big restaurant in a couple of years. You're going to be the best chef on earth. You know that. I'm very proud of my, myself. I am not a professional cook, but I just knocked out one of the best prodigies in the culinary community. I have a lot of passion, and here I am, still in a fight. Oh, I proved that I deserve to be here, and I'm going to use this as my motivation. I'm an underdog, but I'm used to that. Good job, Preston. Good job, buddy. We've lost one of the most talented youngsters in the country today. And this is what you're facing now. The next time we see you, it's going up another level. Good night. Good night, nice. chef. Thank you, chef. You too. You got it. Next time on Next Level Chef, Richard and Aisha and myself would like to congratulate you for making it to the top 10. Come on. For today's challenge, we're heading to a place where every chef makes their first real impression. Amazing appetizers. If you mess this up, bro, no excuses. All right, guys, 40 minutes starts now. Let's go. Vinny! Yeah! Be smart. I'm in the competition, not you. Is that what you grabbed? Yeah. <laughs> That's a good diabolical laugh. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>